the tape for this featherweight fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ilya El Matador Corporea! Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Toporia, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Good by Ilya Topuria. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Topuria's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice. Nicely done. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Working off the jab, it's good. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Topuri is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Oh, nice, nice. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful jab there by Ilya Topuria. One minute here to go round one. Aldo gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Blocks the strike. Aldo goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Five minutes in the books. All right, step in, step in. Respira, yeah, respira. Como água Look, the kicks are working great. Hey, I need you to keep on that, but make sure you time it with it. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first spot. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, nice kick.
So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right now they separate. Just a nasty leg kick, that one hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. We pass the midpoint here in the fight. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Aldo's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Attempting an arm bar here. Oh, that's very deep now. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Oh, it's a fight here. Let's see who's going to get it. Defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Beautiful transition. Aldo's right back to the full mount. Making all these shots count. Topodi is in half court. Great job landing from the top position. Two rounds in the books. Stop. So there is the horn, standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Right, Near right, knockouts down. by both breath. fighters. Listen, Probably the best round we've right. seen thus far this year. Oh man, this is the back. best round of fighting that I have seen for a very ground. long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round on the way. What a great job getting that kick to the target. did a great job of blocking that punch. Topodi is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Both guys appeared to land there. That's some power there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Short uppercut here in the clinch by Alto. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on to. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red and it's swelling. He's going to have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy tomorrow. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. 
Oh, a great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, right to the mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures, an elbow! And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Aldo's back in side control here. Give them all here. Let's go, my boy, a Smith. Good right solid down. strike on the right ground. Down. Aldo's going for the sub here. Oh, it's getting deep. All he's got to do now is get his hips into the back of the elbow to get the finish. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so it goes to the judges' scorecards, but no real suspense once they are rendered. Jose Aldo Jr. fought well tonight. He gets it done by decision. Jose Aldo gets it done. I mean, that's that's what I focus on when I talk to you about this guy, because that's what we always say. Yeah. He gets it done. It does not matter how. Tonight it was a decision victory and a clean performance by the former champion. And we'll see what they do with him later this year, but certainly a performance like this is going to set him up for another big fight against one of the top contenders.